thunderstorm season is underway. The Denver Metro even got its first lightning storm Wednesday night, captured in this time lapse by Mike Cohey. Beautiful and thrilling to watch, but lightning can be deadly and destructive. These pulses of energy can spark wildfires, cause damage to wind turbines, and even damage the power grid itself. And it all happens in a flash. We're talking about microseconds. A microsecond is a millionth of a second, so it's not a very long time at all. Detecting a stroke that fast is the pride of the Visala company with operations in Louisville, Colorado. At the top here, we have the, the antenna. They own and operate the National Lightning Detection Network. Sensors spread all across the U.S. work together to detect the electromagnetic energy from every lightning stroke. Feeding that information into a central processor and within 15 seconds we can spit out quite precisely the, the location and type of lightning that has occurred. Visala says the network detects 95 to 99 percent of all cloud to ground lightning strokes and it can even measure the peak amplitude of every bolt and identify if it was a positive or negative charge. The only thing it can't measure yet is how long the stroke was in contact with the ground. When we're measuring a lightning stroke in microseconds, milliseconds, <laughs> milliseconds matter. Visala is working on a new technique to identify what's called continuing current lightning. It can last several tenths of a second, which doesn't seem like a long time, but can actually be up to 1,000 times longer than a normal lightning stroke. Visala says their new method for detecting continuing current lightning is pending a patent, but could be available as early as this summer. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.